What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Hut's Entertainment Report podcast. And tonight, we have a real, real, real special guest in the building. Listen, when it comes to style, when it comes to charisma, when it comes to playing music, this is the man here. You've seen him on the big, bad Stone Love, and then he ventured out on his own. You know who we have in the building tonight? We have Nico Bomb Bomb in the building today. What's going on, big boss? Well, they had a, they had a job. They had a job. They had a job. They had a Nice, nice Jamaica, you know? Yeah, I, I see the background looks nice. It looks sunny. Everything looks good out there. Yeah, but they're right beside the Christmas tree, you know, and a Christmas yeah. set. Uh, we're married, you know? <laughs> <laughs> to the way how the time is moving fast right now, Christmas is basically not next week. Yeah, for real. For real. Yeah, I'm Mom, well, I'll go with you. I'll, everything with you. Uh, oh, listen, Canada. Canada is good. It's just, you know, right now, the situation that we're in right now, a lot of stuff we're on lockdown, but right now we're basically 90% freed up, especially starting tomorrow. We'll, we'll be good to right, go right, straight. Right, 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 for, right, the last, right, for the last four months, it's been up and down, but guess what? We're here now, ready to go. And because of the pandemic and the situation we're in right now, we actually get to connect with people like this through mediums. Like yeah. This. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. I don't know. Yeah. Nico Bamba in the building. Let's go right from the beginning, all right? Because I said, all when right. it comes to playing music, your voice, everything about you is just so crazy. When it came to music as a selector, what was the first sound or the first thing that got you into actually playing music? Well, I think it was inspired. I was inspired by, um, like, who, me, who I was around. Um, there was, like, this DJ called DJ Wani. We okay. used to operate a sound system called Squad 51 back in the days. Those were the days of Inner City and, um, and all those sounds. You know, Stone of too. But them, from them time, we used to analyze all, all them play and we learned the whole rope height. Start from lifting box and them something. They sneak out there, people in post for event. You know, so at one time I got a gig on that sound system and tried to learn how to mix and them something, but it, it never worked out. So yeah. we did eventually become a, a box man. And drive for the truck and them something. So we get all of the experience, all like the aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And what years are we talking about here? I believe my man, I remember I get old and I see some gray hair from the zoom in the camera and go to the some gray hair. I get old, I remember. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So would this be like 80s or 90s yeah, or what are we talking about? Uh, uh, late 80s, I would say. Late 80s. No, the 90s are all thing. I messed up, messed up the whole place going right back yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes, and then eventually we moved from this and on, got to a sound called Jam One. Okay, you were playing Jam One. Yeah, man, Jam One. Long time, time me, me, I played Jam One, and it was me and another DJ that that used to. He, he was very good at mixing, and it actually showed me the craft mm -hmm. alongside Tony, the guy who owned Jam One Sound System. And um, from there, so we start doing and 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 and, and learn the real mixing and timing and and all of that. Because everything is like, just like a journey, you know, you, you learn, we get a little bit less, and a little mm -hmm. bit less. I'm going to tell you which part we get this, 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 this vibe, yeah. this natural vibe when time, actually, they're on the sound system. I'll tell you how that come about. Okay. But a jam one sound, actually, I come from. Mm -hmm. You know, we play with Stone of One Night, and, it, you know, as usual, every upcoming sound, get the opportunity to play Stone of, you know, you're going to try to make your sound sound the best. Yeah, to the best of the ability, I try with the DJ them you know, have every new song and you want to create an impression. So that night, you know, we did we did we did that. Yeah. We did that, you know, we did that and we for was just was impressed and him as a boy. Who does that the one on the microphone, you know? Mm -hmm. And them make him know. And them time, you know, me I, me I go on as a young youth, I love it, you know. We never have no dub play, it's just straight party fives and album. Okay. And you know, we buck up we buck up our sound system like Road Star. A mashup road star and, and them so on and, and and that was the first sound system actually mash up in a, as a little youth I may mean, I say yo me feel good car me listen to them sound up and cast it. Yes. I, I mean I'm gonna have songs like these people and and and, and a part of five views and mash up the place. You know what I mean? Okay. And who so was playing that, do you remember who was playing Road Star that night? Uh, I think there's a DJ named Danny. Danny. I think yeah, I think this one of the foundation DJs I'm at Road Star. Yeah. So from this or no I would do the dance with Stone Love. No, that was the first dance with Stone Love. And then my clash experience was when I was with Jam One and we, we, we played this this big sound where 
they had songs and everything and hype DJs and a yeah. song called King Capture. That that was a song from in the same area as Jam One, um, Chisholm okay. Avenue. Mm-hmm. And um we, there was a full blown clash and deal them wicked party okay. five. We had them. never have no dubly. No dubly came into the square yet. Yeah, so that was where we get the little gimmicks thing where we have to we don't have the dub and we have to do something to entertain the crowd and, and win the crowd and we don't have the, the money like them so I gimmick them all night yeah. until we win, you know, a lot of gimmicks. And what was your name back then? It was still Nico, just Nico. It was Nico. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then right there, that was a clash that really taught you okay how to gimmicks out the stuff and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Right how okay. to be entertaining, eh? yeah. <laughs> and then where did yeah. you go from there? Were you still on Jam uh, One much longer, or what was the deal from there? Uh, from there, was Jam with Jam One for a while, and then oh, excuse the ice cream truck here. Yeah. Ice cream, <laughs> ice cream, <laughs> the ice cream truck. I passed it up, yeah. But basically, when we left Jam One, so now and um, we we got joined Solo. Um, I never really want to leave Jam One because I said, you know, they teach me so much. Okay. And Eric Bate, to actually asked the owner if he think it's a good decision. And he was very supportive to say, boy, Nico is for a betterment. You can actually reach reach the masses, reach further with your with with skill. Mm-hmm. And me they appreciate that because enough, enough, enough boss and selector fall out when they decide to go to another that zone. Car. Sometimes they say your hype, sometimes, you know, many things. So yeah. it, was a, it was a drive to get a support like that to end up around Stone of and, how did, how, did the, how did the thing there, how did the even argument talk come about about you going to Stone Love in the first place? You mean on Stone Love side or Jam One side? On Jam One side. Well, me actually got to him and I was telling him. And I will have some conversation with other DJs. And mm-hmm. I said, boy, tell him, I'm, you know, he was a cool dude. So I tell him, and he was, he, 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 without hesitation, he never lose a bad selector. Because that time, we probably never know that I actually could play. Okay. It was an MC. So actually going to play Stone of Now, I realized I'm enter a university where what I thought playing Jam One was it. Yeah. May actually come around Stone of to learn that. Uh, remember, we never have a dub plate. Mm-hmm. So when you come around Stone of, we have all of these catalogs of dub plate and you actually see where everything happened. The studio that they had, proper studio and everything. And, um, how the rules of Stone of, uh, you know, at that time, Stone of is a sound way. Keep it clean, no raw version of nothing. You can't mm-hmm. cost a bad word, you know, and you, 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 I find myself in situations sometimes, as we have double like little war thing there, where mm-hmm. me actually are playing a party with a sound and them actually start say some things and me just automatically tell you, say, I'm, I'm, you know, say, I meet them at that. <laughs> I, just, I just start war. Yeah. And we for me used to follow yeah. and we for so listen, young yard, you're playing yeah. you think you're playing the wrong stone. You know? yeah. This is not a war, this is not Kilimanjaro. Yeah, so let's hold on. Let's before we even get there. We got a lot of stuff to do before we even get to those All situations right, right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. What what year did you actually get to Stone Love then? So when you ask them about what year and then something, I yeah. tell you the truth, but me not remember all of the things they exactly you know. say it was in oh. 1990. It's not like Radigan. I say in 1995, Bob Marley went down. Now I can't tell you exactly. Yeah. I went, I went in the 90s, though. Okay. You know what I mean? In the 90s. So, so better yet, who was there when you got to Stone Love then? And that would give us a better map of what we're talking about. All right. So when I was about to go on Stone Love, uh, Chico had just le- left the song. Chico. So back in the days, it was Rory. Kanta, Weepo, Rakabesa, Chico, uh, yeah, Slata was there at that time too. And then Malcolm X came in and Malcolm X was there with them and then Chico left. And that's when I came there. And I was there with Malcolm X for, I would say pretty much a year. And then Malcolm X had left and started to play Travelers. So it was, was there for me. G Force. G Force was there also too. So it was me, G Force, Slaughter, um, Weepo, Cancer, Ma- um, Arakabesa as the keyboardist. Mm-hmm. So it was yeah, it was that was a crew. 
That and then long after no, yeah, long after they had they had added Swamp Thing and then Bill Cosby and then Jet Li. Yeah. And they're okay. And then you said when you came into Stone Love now, now this is the big leagues. You went to university. So what type of rules did Stone Love have when you went and when they said, okay, first day here? What was the package that they gave you and said, okay, this is how we run our business here? Well, let me say, you know, the rules are there are no no indecent languages and uh, you can't play the raw version of the songs and um there is a, a image that this sound system has that you have to you have to keep up with that image how you carry yourself, you know. You can't be like the others. Not saying that you're better than the body, but you're definitely on a level. Um, I learned that I had to learn the box. And when we say learn the box, when I mean just the double plate, I mean like actually the, the album boxes, the, the 45 boxes, the, the regular songs that at the time was happening and the old songs, them and the, yes, it's not just learning what I'm going to know. You have to go back to the history and you have to can find the songs. So if I got a test one night, Mm-hmm. I got a test one night that the, the, the must let me flop <laughs> because after weeks, after weeks of being coming around to Stone Love headquarters, mm-hmm. um, them tell us they have to learn the box. So I was like, every day, some of the time I argue so yeah, go like me, I, I look to record and now I look to the record and and I, and I try know some of them and. And made it more interesting than the current thing what did I go on at the time, the current songs of my the party. Me never really too into this. The oldest part I come here say them have cancer. So cancer I did general for all of them old songs there at the retro party them and I say, me I need for all them songs there. And the old disco and the old boogie them and me I say, yo, me a party, me a party select and me love war so and this one. So and this one was the a university, me get to understand the different genre music. And it's not about that, it's not about dance all alone. And, and like gradually as you go by, you learn a lot because when you reach a level of touring and playing for all, all different kind of people, you, you realize how you have to adjust and how important your music is to other culture. Um, you, you learn other people's culture too, you know. But I, 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 that was the, the, the whole train the night. That was you the whole know, train. You the night. Yeah, the night when we get the test, you know. Yeah. A stone of an inner city, a metro meter at Osalina. This was in the oh. in the night in the nineties. And I remember I put on my best in up, my son the best in up. And come around for the first time in uh but they on the sound, but you you can't actually come play, you have to add the studio, learn the thing, learn the thing, learn it. The, until them eventually say, We are playing this and you're, you're welcome to come and you go. And I remember that night I I, I was wrong. I, I felt like a, a kid. In our pastry shop, car, we actually used to attend Stone of Dance with my auntie and watch them play. Like, watch Rory burn him cigarette and just comfortable. And I said, Yo, look at that brother. Here. And when they talk for the microphone and the way they talk, and I said, Do you know what's You don't like to do that or something there. You don't like to do that or something with them. And then yeah. I actually said, You know, and I, I, there was a time when, when um, G Force, no, G Force was the one that. He's like a neat freak. Mm-hmm. So he, he makes sure everything organized. When we say organized, organized to the T, the yeah. dub plate, the record, the jackets, them always look neat. And the jackets, them for the for the records had stolen. Of, everything was sold of was just different. Them record, yeah. them record, they didn't use the little paper thing the way you buy the record. You might fit them on printed. They have stolen on all the jackets. They have the dub plates. Them GFOS make sure label everything. Okay. So you can't just put any dub plate into any jacket. You have to find that one with the artist name, but they on the actual dub plate. And all them organize it. So that night now me did up and and they didn't want I wait for them call me down car. Me did and Rory are doing thing and then slaughter no one. Me I wait for them call on the New York now forgot to hear my voice on this big sound system with the four column them. Cause jam one sound was, was big too, you know, but them never have that. They might three column, but they never have the, the real something like a stone of the of the, the eighteen inches and you know? Yeah. So that night, we posted, said to that he was going to introduce a new DJ that they have. So he met Rory bring, introduced me and, and we took the microphone. And when when them done talk, like when we posted, um, 
Rory Moore, bring in the new youth, and the Rory says, I know if he's pretty boy talking. And him say, we go bring cast the youth call Nico Bam Bam. That's how we get that Bam Bam part, you know, car. And the Nico, him, the two time he him say Nico Bam Bam. And him say, yeah, I'm going to have to do something. You know, even that thing about the film school at the time. <laughs> and then, um, I, can, I never did so fucking at the time. I never did so, you know? Yeah. So, when him do that now, and when I hear them and they don't talk, and him give me the microphone, and when I say, yeah, you don't know, we sound like a rat. <laughs> <laughs> After them and them big voices start talking, and they don't say, come in, nigga. Yeah. What, nigga? <laughs> That's it. That's it. Like, like after that, I said, no, I'm going to do something with my voice. I'm going to try to start. I'm going to ask, ask Slaughter, oh, oh, yeah, actually. Because being on German Stone, you play every night and they're also. But being on Stone, and they will never play every night. So being on Stone of No, mm-hmm. you find yourself a play every striking night. And you will also up one night. And that's how your voice gradually build. And then yeah. roll you to tell me when you, when you actually attack. Don't talk from your throat, talk from down in your stomach. You know, I'm a mm-hmm. practice that. And sometimes in the bathroom, I'm a practice. And I said, No! I'm like, what I people in front of them. I'm like, Hey! I'm like, I, I say, Actually, learn. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah. so I don't allow, allow, allow you to learn. You know? Yeah, so you're and, first. And, that, and, that, and, and, well, know, and that night, no, we both mm-hmm. say, After he came up on the mic and him said, Boy, I want to work for you. They come you know, and them give back to that and the man is that mush in place. So this is what this is. Well, I thought that was the test. Here comes the test now. Yeah. The man, them are play and the party. Met, Metro Media came in, inner city play, and he came back out to school. So this time the party reached our little part now when them did start play souls. Yes. And then from souls now, them are going to play if you could read my mind and like a virgin and that, that part there, the party them are carrying now. Mm-hmm. So when them set the first song, the, the, this, this is a step. Remember the microphone them give me first. So the next step, them never, we probably never know if I could play. So the next step was them put on the record and tell me, say, me, I got play. So G first put on the songs, the next song that is going to play, you mix it. So them give me that part there, mash it up. We was impressed. Came and said, but me never know sing for that mix. We think I just MC alone. So here they mash me up. Yeah, them mash me up. Remember, I so said them have me there at the studio for weeks, you know. I learned the song, them, and I'm supposed to know what every song did. And that night, now, when them take me up at the turntables, now, me, I don't want to know what I, I pass the songs in. Can't remember them teachers say you're supposed to know the song then. But me, them, I know me that I get that test. So when the man them comes to the one, like, like the man said, when they reach the old boogie, them, me know she pass some of them there, but me never know all of them. So when time, them say, Boogie, me I say, yo, come here, I say, yeah, man, I want to tell me, no way that there. I'm mean, look feet, I'm mean, give them and them plate. And then I say, Nico, give me where I'm coming to say, yeah, man. But like we are served, like we are served liquor. Yeah. And so I say, yeah, man, have that. And then we pour himself you now, look for me, I say, like him, that's a boy. Find a burning spear. Yeah. <laughs> my bed. Muscle let me tell you this. I search, I search to my little still church. My still shirt suck on for me and wet. Call me, I don't, I can't, it's, it's not a burning spear, I'm asked, fine now. It's not really yeah. a burning spear, but it's an old disc, but I don't remember the name right now. And I, I search, I search, yeah. I search, I search, I still on, I search, I still up, I search. I, I, my shirt soak until them can't, them sister, me can't find the song, and them I go around other songs of yeah. disco, and I, and I wait till me find that. And one time, me I hope say, please, God, we all just can't forget to me, this song. <laughs> if you can't forget this song, say, me for the first And me I tell you, my friend, a, a G Fuss. Yeah. Yeah. G Fuss was the one who actually watched when everybody wasn't paying attention mm-hmm. and just dipping at the box and just gonna find and then it just draw up the record and make it cock up. So I can say the one with cock up are the one where they might ask you for how long and you can't find. Yeah. I'm gonna come say and take it up and give them one. So we probably they don't know say hey, brother, if I you know it's on them. But from there so we gradually learn, you know. <laughs> so you came in. So okay. So then when Paul brought you in, Paul thought, okay, you were an MC, not really a selector at that time. There. Yeah, I was an MC, but I never know actually know the skill of of mixing the art. Yeah. So it's like okay. So then you you went in as an MC and not as a selector to Stone Love. Right. Yeah. Okay. So then when Paul seen that you were gonna try to MC and it wasn't really working, he said, Nah. 
Get to the records yeah. one second, but you should have yeah. known the records already. Yeah, yeah, that was the next yeah. step. Huh? <laughs> uh, best of all, gradually, um, we, we start improving, you know, playing uh, more often, um, mm -hmm. you know, knowing that they, 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 there's a teamwork where Soul of is concerned. Okay. He's not every man for himself, and your, your name might have called as a DJ, but you're still, you're still, everyone, everyone of it is still grounded. We had our regular meetings. You mm -hmm. never used to them come there. Have meetings and everybody have to turn up to talk about different ideas and different ways to play and, and all of some like ideas for songs and dub plates and, and, and what creation, what you have to bring to the table and all of them something, you know? Yeah. Okay, so it's a lot more that meets the eye than just going up, playing music, talking, mixing, stuff. Uh, it's a lot more stuff going on behind yeah, man, the scenes. More things, yeah, man, enough things going on behind the scenes. I have to learn it, you know? Mm -hmm. And that that's really what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's why I say, you know? Yeah, so then when did you really start to catch your wings on Stone of at which part there? Well, after doing it for a couple of years, because I think I spent 16 years, uh, I spent a couple of years at Stone, 15 hours. I, it, I don't, I'm not quite sure with the numbers, but yeah. it was when I, Malcolm X had left and gone on Stone of, and he was on Travelers for like two years, and then. Here comes a clash between Stone of and Travelers. Uh, Travelers was every year you have a new sound system that come up and I guess Stone of a little run and them and the name a call and yeah. people try to put them together to see if they can match up. So Travelers now had Malcolm X, which he was a former selector of Stone of. So everybody was like, uh oh, <laughs> Stone of DJ versus Stone of. It, 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 it's a it wicked. So, mm -hmm. There was a little thing where Malcolm X, you know, there was a rumor that Malcolm X had slaughtered and had some beef. Yeah. You know, at the time, we never eat beef or chicken and chicken back and yeah. chicken. <laughs> you know, about them and them beef, you know? Yeah. So, then, then, you know, and, yeah, the party was in St. Anne's and the party actually was not a clash, but everybody was like, talk, we were on the street that it was a clash. Yeah. So, that night, we had prepared for a clash when we came to do the regular party. It was me and Slaughter. We both knew that it was supposed to be a clash. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the party, the, the thing that go on good until Malcolm X decided to boy, I might just start the war and done. Yeah. And me did like that clash something from a long time. So, I was the one mixing for Slaughter. And that was when me and Slaughter actually become a team because we actually it involved me night. Trying to tell me um, how we're going to play one, what we're going to play after that, that, after that. And I said, We have this in them. I said, All right, but never remember that. I will put that and that and put it together. So we actually did dominate the round after them did flip. And then them come back again and then they go on wicked and yeah. uh, overdrive for going at that time. Then that when the overdrive start though, and the world party, you know, I say, Yo, stole of a, a kill travelers. Um, a fight broke. Somebody, one of the guys from travelers, Throw something up and one, I lick one of the guys them from over sound and then I be a boy in party and I be a gunshot and bag of something and people are taking themselves around me and you know everything was down in from there but it, that, that, that was the vibes when, when actually when that tape came out and everybody I say this new you to the pan stole of he 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 yeah. I mean, I just pick up the answer. This is that's all I'm a lover. I'm my little son. I'm my son. I'm a little son. I'm my son. For sure. For sure. Squinchy man too. Rest in peace. Understand. Big, big, big Squinchy brethren too. Squinchy yeah, was miserable, but he was a wicked selector. Yeah, my brother. That man. We now have a big him up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. So then you really got your vibes off of the Travelers and Stone Love Clash, we'll call it. That was yeah. where you really started to buy. Okay, so then what were some other clashes that you really started to get featured in on Stone Love? Um, because a lot of people don't remember. From what I remember, you were one of the unruly people on Stone Love where you'd hear some <laughs> one away cassettes where Nico Bam Bam was all cussing. He wasn't, it wasn't a full out cussing. cussing but you would hear yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because, I mean, after I start doing it and, and start. It becomes a routine and you start playing different parts of Jamaica mm -hmm. where I, I never know Jamaica like that. And I stole okay. of play every night and I'm carrying all over the island. Mm -hmm. Um 
realizing that when you go play in country, it's a different vibe from town because country people have this this vibe where, you know, they appreciate the 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 the, the reggae, and not just the dance hall juggling juggling. Mm -hmm. uh, and them just appreciate them. Them just have a vibe from the early part of the party. Them them dead come out fully and them are support them enjoy themselves. No matter where you play, so that we learned that, that that thing about stone of and, and country. Um, me and start you start learning the craft more. It's so comfortable, and from this, you know, we start playing with sound systems, and then stone of have all these songs. Stone of have so much songs and anthem in the world, and. Yeah. Me always just more and create my own anthem them for people remember the genre when that I, I I did there them can remember say so, okay Nico used to play them so mm -hmm. used to try to look for my little dub them our voice our recommend voicing when we hear a certain song but that's the for we want that song and him make sure so we get it if him thinks that he must him trust him got confidence in our know so, all right if we have to that song you're bad and him don't know it him, him, him make we get it and voice it and all them something so start playing now with Metro Media. Uh, Stone of a Metro is like a brother and sister song. You know, we used to play so often, like yeah. every night or every other night together. So, you know, competitive juggling, we start learning about that. A Metro and Stone of us friend, but every time we play, it, there's a competition. Not, not, a, not, a, not a bad vibes, you know, but a competition of, all right, you, you must have a place, all right, wait till me come in now. <laughs> and then me come in and go on a bag of things, can just go on with a bag of things, take off his shirt and roll him belly and then something there. And then, and then me just come in and say, me not take off the shirt. I mean, I love man and them something. I show my belly and, and them something. So me just use the skill of me, our juggler, and gimmick, so sky juice and draw a card for him. And it used to, uh, it used to upset him. And then right. him cuss and then him tell me, Paul said, I'm fat boy, the way I have a bit of trouble in my and I mean, I have a business and Paul did like that. Because Paul said, at the end of the day, them just send me a trouble maker. Right. But <laughs> the, 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 the trouble, the, the trouble now backfire when time I start playing with other sound systems and them start hype up like as every song try when they play the stone of them trying to show them colors i mean you can't blame them no matter if it be mm -hmm. or be where stone of is or even close yeah so them always throw one and you know say some things sometimes and me always take offense to it and me say people don't want us to be a class stone and why do we have all of these dubs then why we have all of these classic stuff we don't for them do if i have so mm -hmm. me just take it up on my head and say hey, May I play with nobody? May I play with a son from country? Stone of is from Kingston. Mm -hmm. And if may I play the sound system, I may hear them say, Have some tone, man. Come on, go on like my bad man. Am I so like only tone, man? I feel like a meme attack. <laughs> so I say, Okay. And then we will probably ignore it. Hear him say, Okay, what I say? No sound no bad enough for me, son. You could have named Gravel, Sun, Stone. We shall have sound like party name. No stole of his own name. Some automatic can say me a true old man. So me I'm a deal with your wicked. When I might have become in me, I say, whatever your sound name is, we find something to say about you. I may still make it seem as if I'm speaking indirectly. Mm -hmm. So if you take it up and start us me, it, then if you say me never they call your name. And you want us me now, say me go war with you now because you start it. So that's okay. how that little something you now and my name start called now and I'm gonna say no we for so one of our select anyway. He unrolled, you know. And there are times when me and we for catch up and we for is like him get called from town system operators and people at even to say the fact when I get trouble and him always want war and we mm -hmm. are uh, beating and him said Nico, remember it's not a war sound here play and then we always ask about why we have these things, why why we name him at all? Yeah. Then yeah, make somebody try yeah. kill with them. I I'm I sure said them can dead. So that I was a warrior upon the stone from long time. Yeah. So that's what me I start to start part of. So all right, anything up me, you know. Are we you know? We are defender, you know. Mm -hmm. Who were some of the songs that give me some of the some of the dances or some songs that you guys had to rough up? Well, um based on this year, we always had the same kind of competition thing with like like Metro Media. Mm -hmm. Uh Travelers as a year me tell you as one of them. Um uh there was a song called um the song that Winterfresh used to play, the select like Turbo Phonic. Turbo Phonic. You were yeah. at you were at those dances, the Turbo Phonic dances? Yeah, well the first dance were, were that Turbo Phonic that they kept in, in St. Elizabeth, I think. 
with Stone of and Turbo Funding. We did not win that dance. Yes, talk about that dance. I want to talk about that dance. And were you in the Kingston dance now when you guys brought them back to Kingston? Right. That was I was in the country one when we and them and Black Scarpio and to be honest with you, mm -hmm. we there was no way Stone of could win that dance. And Jack Scarpio tried his best mm -hmm. to involve himself into the dance, but it was really it was really Stone of um they wanted to really prove a point too. Mm -hmm. So during that dance now, they had some artists down in that side and they had fans and they had crowd and it's for them area here in and stuff. You could have played Jesus Christ and Bunty Kill and the Little Children. It, nobody now, you can't win. Mm -hmm. there, was a, there was a part in the party because they had songs too and they had dubs and Bunty and everything and them, them go on bad. But the real, the real damage came when we were drawing some stone of anthem at them and the crowd was completely biased to say, no. No matter where you want to play. And then take it further now when them start play artists from down that side where, where we never have a clue exists and we don't we don't know about you. So when we are play our bounty and our beanie man and our tennis, mm -hmm. them are play leaf man, breadfruit man, <laughs> we till they hear that guinea pig. And, and we don't have a clue and then the, the people them in the community familiar with the guinea man and, and, and breadfruit man and, and you see me? So when the man play the combination, and we come from town, we say, who the, who the hell is, we don't, what that? <laughs> when the man to fling bread for that for me, and them say, eh? Area and artist, party, boss. Area yeah, artist, boss. In, in that party, man, the man go on bad, man. The man say, yo, school of a one day, I got dead. After mm -hmm. them, them, them turn a win, how much run already. When the man say, hear yeah, this, hear yeah, that bread fruit, man. The man goes, I look at the bread fruit, man. And bread fruit, man, I sing out, blow out. You know? <laughs> and me, I say, who the man here? And the, and the whole party and mash up and red food, man, I sing, you know, I mean, I say, like, God, no, and the man is so good, but the man make me and I, like, like, and the body sing up. <laughs> I mean, the selector say, you think of that? We are telling Mr. Lime come in, and when Mr. Lime come in, I start DJ the whole place, the man, I'm telling the whole of our friends, I'm just no, I want it. <laughs> but I know them, man, yeah. They planned for you guys. They planned. Put away. And then, and then uh, they had a good MC, which was Winterfresh. <laughs> Winterfresh, yeah. Yeah, and he made his name there because you know once you go up against Stone and he actually come out victorious, whether mm -hmm. by your, your fans or whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. in, in and then they have to keep back the dancing. Stone in, in, in Kingston now. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Were you on that yeah. dance here, the Kingston dance? Yeah, man. I put okay. more into the center, man. Let's yeah, man. talk about that one there because I know that one there now. You know what? I want you to go into it because I know what I remember about it, but I want to hear it from your version. Well, that dance in Portmore Entertainment Center, mm -hmm. that night, that dance we were well, 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 well prepared, like mm -hmm. overly prepared because we had, we had fully loaded the following Sunday. The party was, the dance was Saturday night and we had fully loaded and we had a double, we had a double victory that weekend because after we did beat up, um, ter, um, what do you mean? With, with, Turbo, with, with funny. Fresh, Turbo, Turbo Funny. funny. Mm -hmm. We actually beat up Mataran, Tony Mataran, and Port Time Speech at Fully Loaded. You Let's know? get the Turbo Funk and then we're going straight over <laughs> to Fully Loaded. So, that, 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 the lead, the, the whole preparation for that, um, that dance with, with them now, we prepared, we, we actually did Link Bunty and we had sessions with the artists of not just voicing songs that, 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 that was popular. We were trying to create stuff. So, there was the Missing You, Biggie Small tribute. Um, yes. That rhythm, we did, we did play it as a number, and I, we had the version on the record. I was like, how about putting some songs on this? Mm -hmm. And bound to hear it, and he was just vibing, 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 vibing. And it, it, the first song he did on it was, Y'all them say them want to do it, Stone Love, where he actually was writing the song, and, 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 and we love the vibes, and he just built it there, and we'd stop and record it, record it, and then he had, he had who send them, but it wasn't out yet. And okay. him actually do the who send them for us on another rhythm that we had. But we, we did he did two songs on the missing your rhythm. Mm -hmm. Um so that was something a new bummer where we said we'd have drop on him. And we had a lot more new stuff. I was fully loaded, and I tell you, fully loaded for fully loaded. And <laughs> yeah, so that night they know everybody come on the dance, dance, nice dance, ram. Them now come a town, you know, fully town. I them beat to bad down a them country. But mm -hmm. not only that, them come a few return, 
them decided so they was gonna carry some of the them could them carry some of the country come at home, but they couldn't carry so much the whole of the country. Yeah. So they, they had they had like ten coasters loaded with people from St. Elizabeth came to Fort Moore, but I will have town. Was town um you know you have Fort Moore, you have town, you have Tivali Gandhi everywhere, everybody <laughs> comes to represent <laughs> solo. So yeah. if you carry them people from country, you have too much place at town, Spanish town, everywhere. Everybody I represent, all of everybody come out to represent Tono. So when them start the clash and you know, we have beat them. Them go on that thing, but we, we rough them up right through and then now the bomber now was when we decide so we are gonna write them off now and we, we, we unleash the new bounty. And then a crazy shot start for everybody. I said, no, so the song they play every minute, every minute, every minute I party because them I say at the first everybody I heard and I know some actually play. Yeah. And then now we, 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 we dropped the other bounty on the same rhythm. I don't remember what the other one was on. Jeez, I'm teasing. Like, that was the ice cream on the cake. And then now, in the winter first time came back in, and they were cussing to say that the party is biased because that like what we were saying, don't want to feel part. Yeah. So they must say bias because Ray and then we are saying, but remember, say, I carry people to say, yeah, I'm biased fully because. People are cheerful on the still because you had people from town saying that no man, them country boy are bad. You know, they give them them props, them that be fear. Mm -hmm. But then when Stone Love comes to now and decides say, well, after that, after that, talk to them, I mean, no. they, they, who send them? Who send them? Do we end them? Really far away. That was the icing on the cake when we got around them you know, and play the being them and them and everything else and turn over the whole and this one, them, man. Yes, so now everybody has said, Jesus Christ, them dead, them dead, them dead. And <laughs> them, them try, them try, I look a fighting, I look a fighting, I never work. Uh, security was, was, was very proper and, and dealed them all way. And then they start ball out, boy, with brutality. Told man, I try to rotate it. And it was nice, you know. Eventually, yeah. that night after, after it was a fair clash, after it done, all well, I was shaking and re -re -re and people ball and nose not. And, We'll go yeah, good, yeah. good. Because what I remember, I remember in particular, you guys had, you guys pulled a trick on them. You said, okay, we see what you guys did in country. Now when you're in town, you have to play our hour. You see, yeah, as man. a new song, that was where they started to struggle right away with that hour yeah, juggle. Yeah, because... yeah, all oh, oh, what a juggle. You have, to, you have to have it and keep the momentum. And remember, that thing we still have done on a regular. So when yeah. them do it and I play half an hour, they're country and country people say, yes, throw some dirt on them. Yeah. Uh, you know, work at all. Mm -hmm. It could work. You know, yeah. and then we felt good that morning after the clash because we were like, we were like, yes, one down, one to go. Because yeah. we know that fully loaded was the following day at Fort Clarence Beach. I said, all right, I'm going to deal them wicked now. So that, mm -hmm. that year, we everybody are prepared for fully loaded, matter and everybody. Mm -hmm. So that was the year when we destroy Renaissance, um, Tony Mataran. We deal with them wicked, like bad, bad, bad. So that Mataran, Mataran can't chat. Like normally, him just chat enough. But him, him out doing chatting that, that night there. <laughs> like seriously, like, like yeah. most like real. I'm a friend, them, I mean, can't tell you. And, and everybody know, he, he better talk enough, 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 man. I went up on a flight already, I got England, and if you know the hours we got England from Jamaica, I'm at around, talk, 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 me and Bogle on the plane till we drop asleep, and I wake up back, I'm at around still attack, I would never, I would never realize that in this stop talk, and then I'm at around, I'll laugh and attack, and I ask a question before we even answer, he might answer it himself, and I'll laugh, I'll attack, I will sleep again, I will wake up back, I'm at around, I'll chat to somebody else, and I said, but this brother, I can't stop in chat, ah, let me go back. If you don't fly the long for England, yeah, but no, I'm sitting so much. I said, Nico, you're watching, but I'm a chort, I'm a chort, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was it, still, you know, fully loaded. Remember, and you said it was who was in it? That was Mataran Renaissance. Who else was in that fully loaded? And Mataran, what did you like that to put? It was Mataran Renaissance, uh, Mellow Canary, I think it was the song, uptown song, disco song at the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it was basically, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was like. Three songs. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, so this um, was early fully loaded. Yeah, man, early fully. Then I never reached a big stage thing yet. Um, mm -hmm. with a big audience like a stage show. No, it was on the beach. I started as a beach party. Mm -hmm. So this was where you know we 
mess up the whole place. I'm not sure nobody had those killers at the time and, and the set of songs. I remember with the production, so people had his own rhythms and, and, and we have the dubs them different. And so we mash up that party there. Unfortunately, the following fully loaded the following year, Mataran had his revenge. <laughs> Let's talk about this one here. So this is the that, next year fully loaded. Yeah, the next year fully loaded Mataran had his revenge because uh, we were prepared, but we didn't put so much preparation in it. And Mataran was like, he might redeem himself. So he was actually linked with Tony, um, Tony, um, what's his name there, man? The Baby Shop Management, man, Madhouse. Uh, okay, um, Dave Kelly. Dave Kelly, yes, mm -hmm. Dave Kelly. When I'm linked with Dave Kelly, Dave, Dave Kelly had the rhythm called the Brockout. Yes. So that was the year you now when Mataran had the Brockout rhythm and he voiced a lot of songs on it. And because them did not try to make Mataran, Dave Kelly did definitely give Mataran them set us up the voice dubs and say, all right, I'm Mataran, I'll take that one and you're going to play our new rhythm at the right time. And mm -hmm. what they did, they, um, they had recorded um, Bounty saying to the Mataran, you know, the, the 45, the rhythm alone. Because mm -hmm. they didn't want Mataran to give it to anybody. Mm -hmm. And with his creativity, he decided, because he writes songs for Bounty, he said, All right, we have a DJ or something on the rhythm. And every time when he said whatever he must say, at the end of what he said, you hear two of the Mataran in another part of it. So that's how, yeah, well, that's when they mash up the night. So it's like, you read the rhythm I play, I read him I play, and then you'll hear two of the Mataran, read him I play, read him I play, then they hear. Same say, in, in, in Crater Lake, same say, Sim Simmer, who got the keys to the beamer, and who am I? Throw the water on. No, 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 Arena sounds come so couple couple with them remix them and, and go on everybody and say, Yeah, the party hat. Then here comes Matter and now we got set a set of juggling when nobody now have a clue about. And when he start the DJ thing from the rhythm and the mash up, him did, him, I think he did that around three times at the party. Okay. Three times I pull it up and DJ it and everybody has said, No. So everybody was anticipating what else he might play from this time rhythm. Yet? And when he played the 45, then the can't believe some boy. And, who don't know some of you And then he had some dubs on the rhythm. And Jesus Christ, the man turned over. He man throw sand, sea water, <laughs> <laughs> mosquito. <laughs> yeah, must have. It really lose that part in it. And yeah. I just want to keep it real. You know what I mean? So you guys had no clue what that rhythm was as Big Bad Stone Love at that time there? We had the rhythm, but we didn't have dubs on the rhythm. And we didn't have the rhythm itself, the instrumental. Yeah. So we had the songs. Uh, uh, maybe we had, we had planned to play, but we never played. We didn't know that that was the plan. So we probably didn't have it to drop. Mm -hmm. Not thinking that that created an impact. You know? And then now, after this fully loaded, so you guys won last year. This year came around. You guys lost it. When you guys went to the office the next morning, what was that like? It, 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 disappointment in a car where I said, you know, we never did really pee -pee. And then Matter and was in a, in a glow. I grow with it, I'm a, I'm a run with it, and I say, yo. And I mean, all of our friends, we'll book up a student, all of our talk about it, we'll laugh, we'll run joke, and I say, yo, when only did I, this went time to do this, and it was a nice vibe, because it wasn't like this, the, 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 the winter fresh vibes. We are, we are bridging. Mm -hmm. We'll run joke, and we'll laugh, and you know, when we don't, we don't win one night, just that's where it go. Yeah. No, for yeah. sure, for sure. Because as I said, I've seen you, and I've heard you a million times rough up songs. How about Bodyguard? Did you ever, you personally, ever clash with Bodyguard? Well, that actually, that was the sound system that gave me at my break as a certified. Yeah, man, Bodyguard was a sound that I killed. Like, I can say that I killed. First sound, actually, kill, 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 with yeah. a, a bad DJ with me, actually, respect and rate. At that time, it was um, Johnny and Firelings playing Bodyguard, mm -hmm. you know. And um, remember, say, I met my name now as the little young shot up and stone of where I actually can't stand up. Them time I know me can't stand up and play the song by myself. 
like rock a whole party by myself. Yeah. Build a party, bring the people in another party, hold the people in another party, play different genre music in another party, entertain the crowd. So them time you know make establish as one of the the, the new sensation and soul mm-hmm. of them. Mm-hmm. So with that party you now, it was a challenge because it was the first time you now that, that party you know Slaughter was on tour. Every other big DJs were on, on tour. Slaughter up on tour, Roy up on tour, G was up on tour. So the only people them that was going down to that dance was me and Bill Cosby. I think Swamp Thing was there too. And that dance was Stone of Metro and Bodyguard. Okay. So when when we're at the studio preparing and I was people was telling me whatever I want, we can we can get it voice. So we start put my stuff together and what me gonna do and when we want to play. And at that time, as you know, Stone of is very great. I have a great respect with all DJs. So at that time Butcher Bantan had this still shallow album coming up. And um, we had a good relationship with Bojo, as you know, over the years. So mm-hmm. we actually had the pleasure to listen to some of the tracks on the album. And we pick out the tracks that we wanted and dub, like Hills and Valley, um, Till Shiloh, Till I'm Late to Rest. Most of the hits are for the album. We actually basically had the album and dub. Yeah. So that dance was in a place in Bodyguard, hometown, and playing Stone of and going through all of these places where you, you go against sound system that is, that is in their area, I know what to expect because with the turbophonic thing and all of that, mm-hmm. I expect that, okay, we're in their place, so what, what I'm going to do different to actually win the crowd? So the first thing I did was not to be the aggressor. Got you. Let them come at me. Mm-hmm. All right? And then in that party, you know, we, we were ready for the party, but what bodyguard used was this tragedy where them say, all right, Fire Lynx is the, 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 the main man. So when the party are going, I tried to get out Metro Media from just locking them off out of the party so we could actually deal with bodyguard. Okay. So me and bodyguard actually work for Metro till, till me cost them. And so Sky Juice, it doesn't even make no sense. I bet you just nobody play. Uh, no man knows you, so no one see you or your titty them. <laughs> so I better you just take out yourself. Just just mm-hmm. excuse me. So me they lock off Metro Media and, and, and that was a that was a good message to me that you know yeah go on you. I have the confidence they are talk to them generally so you know and Sky just actually lock off and cuss and I say yo me, uno, 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 re. So you know the part you know I was going round for round with, with bodyguard but like like we did four Four or three round for okay. rounds. Mm-hmm. And it was very, very, very hard. But at, but what happened, it wasn't links at the time around the sound system. They had other DJs that them they pretty good too. So them are them are fire at me and them are chat and them are say some things and you know, my time come in and me I say some things that time the way I'm prepared for the party and tell myself myself something I go wear any any clothes. Pay them use your clothes. Cause if you wear a shirt as a school of an all five out of one the same shirt, they must say buy one, get one free. <laughs> so me, me, me got to a tailor, I tailor make one this sweater thing for me because down there it cool. Mm-hmm. And he met me, it, it was in white and, and we make them put my name on it because they yeah, try to promote yourself. So that part, you know, that dance you know, when me I got bodyguard three rounds for round, like everybody just it undecisive. So, in other country you now, you have the done them down there and they fire them shot when they, they play certain songs. Yeah. And they know, Stone of now, I play for the mass in the party, but we don't have no shot of fire for it. But we are going good still, you know. But, the body, but when bodyguard are here, gunshot now, like I'm going to say, yo, you know, like bodyguard, and then gun. So, at that time now, at that time now, this was when I actually feel like I lose 20 pounds at the party. <laughs> like one time I feel like I lose 20 pounds because um, somehow in you know, you know, the wee hours of the morning after me, me, had, me had sweat and I try hard to keep up. And, and it, it's like a boxing. And you, and you box, box, box. And you, and you're tired and you're beat out, but you, you're not give up, you know. And then here comes fire links in the morning, you know, like them planet to say, all right, when him beat out, the energy man I got come in and just done it. 
Mm-hmm. So when them say, when bodyguard come in and say, all right, I'm ready for stall of dead now. And they say, then you know, I said this all night to all my candid and I'm I'm ready for dead now. <laughs> and then at this now, when me hear them say, part the crowd. I mean, me don't have a clue what I go on. Can me have it say, if me not see fire links around the sun from the war start, you see them, they are firing uh, somewhere. So when time them say, clear the crowd, I me see them take a runway. And them give the remote microphone. And when fire links say, mede, 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 I start run through the crowd. I feel like, I got asthma, diarrhea, everything. <laughs> Diabetes, I said, no. I got drop the water. I got to give me some water. Okay. I got to come with a bag of things. So like, what me, I got to know. Yeah. I have songs, you know. But, but, but the energy when me, me, me fight. So the first thing when links come around, links, I want to do that. I want to, I want to do that cow here. And I'm, when I'm white, so you got milk? <laughs> I want to do that stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to chat to sit here, man. I'm going to make some nice, you know, man. And then more gunshots start firing you know, on me. I start to feel like Jesus Christ. And when me, I go to know. Yeah. Me have the song them, but I feel them place on them. I mean, I fight them all along. And then here comes this extra energy now. I mean, I have the energy where I forgot to know where I'm mature. Yeah. And then what happened now? Somehow, God just sent me the stone of fans them from, the uh, diaphragm stone of fans them from town. Yeah. You know, William God was there. Them come down. I know when them, Ton man, they are floss and the bend, the bends and the beam. And all. my country, I say, country people, I see this tons of bike I drive. I ride this one bag of man. I'm, and then they say, bends and them say, ah, they say the holy per vehicle and them say the roses crew. And them I say, God bless crew and convert to be beer man, convert to a come a country now. If you are country clash now, everybody I say, oh, what is? And then Willie and Bogle and every man just come stand up around stone of the show. You say, a stone of them come for support. Yeah. So, when bodyguard them play and gunshot them fire and I got things now and them say stole of time. Me don't prepare my little thing already. Cause for the whole night links I call me big and fat and rare, rare. And I say, all right, stole of a song, stole of a song named Stone of Your Fit. Um, me not fit, but me know me can't angle it. So <laughs> yeah. me decide say when me I play that song, me I gotta try the two push up. And <laughs> me say me not do more than two because if me if me do if me do if me do three push up. And can't make the last one and go play the song, you yeah. know, fit. Yeah. So I make sure so I could have did the two push up. So when them come and stole them and them turn the light for me, I say, hey boy, I'm going to do it in the wicked. I'm going to come say, I'm going to go say, I'm going to go and come say, shh, one, shh, two, and get up back and say, hey boy, that time, that time me have blue hard, and I get up, hey boy, watch me, I want to know. And come say, I'm going to stone up, you have fit. And the whole place start much up and then, you know, my crew from town just start blazing be a shot too. Mm. And that just ignite me and my final energy and me just start dealing with fire links and I go at him and I say, Yeah, call me, yeah, call me cow, look how the cow I got done you. I mean I say I'll say the cow for done him same same move and everyone dance and move and come back and sit. <laughs> and one back and sit, man. And then him come back here you now and, and try again, but this time the energy when him coming at the first part wasn't so strong as the next one. Got you. So in the, the, by that time now when Stone of Come in, the sun was about to come up. The sun was about to set. So that was the part now when I said, all right, me I'm gonna play the whole of that Bujo album. Like it was already being played on the radio as Bujo new album. And me I say, if you, if everybody notice where we are, we are at a, 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 in a country, at a place where there's a lot of hills and valley. You know? So when we come down and drop the Bujo and he says, Stone Love, kill the sound, them. Over hills and the whole country. I said, Jesus Christ, I will find a song. The sea, sea valley and the hill. You see me? I mean, I sell everybody if you find to the hill. And, you know, by the time I have trouble links, and I say, the whole night, you know, shame. The whole night, you have a customer that make one bag of nice and people are beating over the smelly time up. Because all of them are ball out, ball out like somebody are beating. And Ryan, it was a good, it was a good vibe. So at the end of the night, I, I came out victorious and everybody was like, no, sir. Yeah. Him bust, no, him are the man. Fire links literally cried that night. Like ball. The man in him ball. Like me see him live in high water. He might pass me. I know uh, Like he might pass me and vex. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I may say, I mean, me they remember say, me they really take it to art. Uh, when he might pass me, I call him and I go like everything nice. I know say, him have me up. I may say, links, yo, come talk to the camera. Hey. And, he might, and he might say, yo, man, you don't know. When he might walk in, say, don't tell nobody. Say, see me, I'm crying. Yeah. So till currently, so till, Couple of years ago, they have um this thing called Soundchat, 
Yeah. And it was a WhatsApp group with sound system from all over the globe. And Links was in the group and a lot of us matter. And it so that it, this same clash came up. And I was saying to them that that was a dance that bust me killing Fire Link and Bodyguard. And then somebody told Link. And Links joined that evening, and me and him go at it in the, in the, in the chat room because he might tell me, say, mm -hmm. him never, me never kill him. Because mm -hmm. he must say, him did a play bodyguard. And me I said, then who did a play bodyguard? Yeah. <laughs> no fire link. So if me kill bodyguard, you're not dead with the son. You never left on gone and as your own, for call yourself fire son and fire link yet. Yeah. A bodyguard did a play. And that, that the catapult me to, to another level now where we power say, all right, everybody start call. When the bookings are coming, they must say, um, Nico, who are Nico? How much is Nico? And then Nico price go up. Because if you want Nico come to your party, if you normally play three grand, you have to yeah. play four grand. Me don't know about the organization and the money, but me know said, wait there for my name. Yeah. Proper. And, and then I, where did you really start to go from there? Where was some of your bigger dances that you said, okay, Links right well, off links were next. Well, the, uh, to tell you the truth, you know, mostly the first overseas show that I did was in your hometown. Okay. Toronto. Yeah. Yeah, that was the thing. That was first, the first foreign trip me get got me so excited now, me acting. I mean, yeah. I go got foreign now, you know. So till I when we go to the embassy, you know, me I tell a bridge, you know, my the other day say when it all away I got Canada, it's me, Rory and, and Slaughter and Paul. Cause they had to come to introduce me to Canada. You know, everybody hear me pan thing, but them never did I just make you just come so them that like, introduce you with the, with the name man there. So yeah. when you have a week on Rory I come to introduce you, you know, them I say him him certified. Yeah. So at that time now coming to Canada now, I we have to go do an interview at Canada Ambassador and whatever got you know. When we had the interview, you know. Remember, at first, me, I got fired. You know? I mean, I always watch what the people are talking. You know? yeah. So, when they, when the council have me in the booth and I talk to me, and I say, um, So, your name is uh, Nicholas. I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Right? And I'm asking some question, and I'm like, I'm like, Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, Yo. <laughs> yeah, young you know, but I start talking about it. Nasty, you didn't nasty. even leave yet. No, no, me not gonna find it. <laughs> but me speak properly, brother. Uh, my speaking properly was to try so like the foreign people. Like, foreign. Cause she talk to me, I she attacked me and asked about it, speak like we are a, a relative. Yeah. So me are talking too. Listen. She's like, she's like, have you ever, have you ever gotten a US visa? I'm like, no, man, I never forgot it. You know, I, ne I never, I never, I never. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what I said to me, say, um, she's like, um, so how, like she said, if you're the stone up for so long, mm -hmm. um, so how is the first you actually get in a visa? Is it that because you 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 you're, you're established now? So I mean, I said, well, it's favor, like I said, you know, I. No, the coach, that I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying, favor, like I said, you know, I. It was it felt like it was my time, you know, you know. And when we when we come out of the, in the interview, we can me, yo me me me, 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 me say yeah, me I got fired. So then we did, you know, and we did fully forgot Canada that same night, and we did the the, the, the embassy wait and, and them can't give you the visa, and we were like worried to find out like everybody get them visa and gone, who now get it, not then gone. And all that we left, and we Rory and we and all over there. I said, So, why is it that mm -hmm. them can't come with our passport to so say we get it? And we are worried. Yeah. So, we put had some link in there and make a link to somebody in there. And I said, Well, um, I said, why, why is it that we can't get a visa? We have the flight XYZ. So, now we have to run go to the airport. And, 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 you see me? So, then I said, Well, well, it's the fat one. <laughs> the fat one, the fat one is actually. Speaking with an accent, and, and <laughs> they're actually checking the other embassies to find out if if he if he ever got deported I, before. What? Because the fat one, so we Paul come to me and said, "My you never got fired." I'm saying, "No, Paul." I was told my girl in that tongue to the people. Mister, me did not speak properly. I said, "The people them say a tongue style." I said, "I like I, I the fat one in in runway." He do something on that Jamaican, he dip him, and he might try to go back up, you know. You see me? 
I suck up now, we get visa, man, I go to Canada, man. First, as I come up, I play in Toronto, man. I miss this yeah. snow, man. I tell the man to tap the tap the vehicle. I mean, chuck out a lot and chuck in a school and start going like a bird. And I say, yo, we they have fire in the ice. This, you know, Mrs. Show. They all run in the ice and drop. I just drop and I watch the print out. And I say, they yeah. have the picture of the print out. I mean, I mean, in the ice. And it was, a, it, was a, it was a good feeling, you know. From my experience playing in Canada, I realized that, you know, a lot of Jamaicans there and the farm work people, them, man. It was a good vibe, you know. Was the energy, person. was the energy the same energy like it was in Jamaica, like whenever you touched the mic and you're doing your thing, or was it a different energy because this was your first time here? It was a better energy because okay. I guess there's an anticipation about it. I guess the commercials and the radio was saying that for the first time in Toronto, um, Nico Bam Bam, the new sensation and stole up. So it was like a hype. And then mm -hmm. Weepo and Rory actually, actually introduced me. Yeah. You know, at the peak of the hype of the party. Yeah. And that's how I became I I I got, I got to know military Alan Ladd and, and all the other DJs and from Canada Staney and all the other DJs. That that was even where I met um a current DJ that is with my sound now, Nico Supreme, English. Yes. Because English used to play a song called Rootsman and he was a fan. Yeah. And we became friends and that's how when I decided to leave Stone Love. Mm -hmm. Um, English was asking me what was I gonna do if I'm gonna play another sound system or one for my own. And I had options. I had friends, I had sound system that I idolized that I wanted to be a part of. There was a base of this and there was um I know you wanna ask me a question. There was a base <laughs> of this and there was and there was um from Tampa, Florida, Poison Dart. Poison Dart. Okay, so they were those were all offers on the table. But even yeah. before we get to there. Remember, we're close to we're close to this part here now, you know. But before we even yeah. get there, you said, okay, you bust, you're doing your thing, bodyguard, you came to Toronto. At this time now, when you bust, did you ever play like David Radigan or one of these songs that really gave you a, a warm time as Nico Bamba on Stone Love? Yeah, we, we played we played David we played David in, in, in England. Um but that was like further up. It wasn't before. Like yeah. after Canada, I, I started to go to the States. Mm -hmm. and tour all over the states and then actually had an opportunity to go play in England um, I event with, with, with Stone of and Radigan and, and that was another experience but it was never a, a clash and then I look up to Radigan I look up to, I have high respect for Radigan so mm -hmm. when I would do when I would say something to to check off another sound system or DJ I wouldn't try that with Radigan because the respect I have for him yeah. as a big man that, that carries the culture so far I wouldn't do it yeah. Even if even if, if it's him would have said boy, which him now gonna do it. If him did ever say him I will mash up Nico run in our party, me, me wouldn't do it. Me does I may have too much respect. It's like for me this Rory, mm -hmm. you know, me not do them something. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, really matter. Yeah, people idolize. Yeah, Spinji there are a lot of times when me have played based on this Spinji used to, you know, come at me, but at the end of the day, me try not to get personal because as somebody who I idolize, I mean I wanna mash up the friendship. And I remember there was also an event in, in town, another history dance where Stone of and, and Bass had say, and Spinji was at that dance. And the dance was so nice. Yeah. It was a wild, it was a, the dance was just, it was just be fun. And that night, we played every genre of music. I, you never heard Bass had say play soca. And they played soca, we played old school, we played ska. We played, and, and we did not touch no dub plate until it was way hours in the morning. Okay. And the crowd was enjoying themselves. And that was when Spinji said, tonight we're going to do it different. How about, everybody knows, basically, I'm going to play for them anthem dubs. Stone of I'm going to play them anthem dubs. How about yes. you, Nico, come over here so come play basically, and me go over Stone of, and the whole dance get mad. Yes. And I said, no, sir. Nico, yes. I'm going to actually go play for a song where a war song where him always was, and you know, Spinji went over Stone Love and him said, Well, you're gonna beat your body and knee up on your own sound, you know. You understand? And they're gonna operate in the same manner and follow the rules where you can't cuss no bad word. Yeah. And me said to him, say, Well, you're gonna follow base of this, um, base of this, um, rules. Yeah. Spinji, your blood clot, 
can't cost bad wood and me can't cost no bad wood, so I'm going to cost every bad wood when I get to cost my soul. I remember me tell you, mostly, that was a party where God was in that history. But you don't have to be there, you have to know the history if you actually know about them party where Squinchy play bass, Squinchy play stone over me playing um, bass or anything, you know what I mean? I remember, I remember I got that cassette right there. Okay, yeah, that dance, that dance with Squinchy was a crazy, crazy, crazy dancer. And again, yeah, remember, yeah. you're you're riding high on Stone Love and all this. So then when did Trouble Come in Paradise? When was there an issue where it's like, okay, this isn't really working all right right now? Well, there was there was some issues with management. That's the reason for me leaving Stone Love. There was issues with management, and I just couldn't see eye to eye with it. And there was a situation where whatever whatever you're doing to earn an extra money, Mm -hmm. I don't business with management and the boss business, but when you try to take away from the youth, you know, me, me have to defend them because they're just like oh Billy Slaughter, they look out for me and G Force them. Me have to look out for Cosby them and, and Swamp Thing them. So they were they were they were not treated fairly financially for certain events that they came up to do. And when they expressed it to me, I spoke to management and management was like not your business, you know? And I'm saying, yes, not my business, but you can't be doing that to the youth. And the master boys, them did a thing to me by trying to spite me, to tell we folks that the people, them, that I don't want to hear Nico again, time I talk too much on the party, them, man. So I got benched in Jamaica. A lot of people asking for me for events, and we folks, the boy, I'm not available. I was like, on the punishment, doing big party in Jamaica when people wanted to put me overseas. So I couldn't take no more of it. You know, so I said, boy, I have, to, I have to make a decision, you know. I made my name and I'm out there. I would mm -hmm. try to do it, you know, try to create my own sound system. Yeah. So that's when it was a hard choice because being at your prime, you actually have to try to leave Stone Love when you're at your prime, you know. So yeah. I eventually did it and I told people that I was leaving and he was like, why are you leaving? And, you know, but I wasn't going to be the one that would, be the the, the 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 burst the bubble so to say. Yeah. You say that you're the one who informs us of what's the problem or what's happening that people don't know. You know, and we all see it come out. So I'll see it eventually come out. And and the departure of Rory and the fallout and all these things. And there's a lot more to it, but we're trying to get into it, you know? Yeah. I always respect all of and thank them for what the, the catapult that they put me on. For sure, for sure, because getting onto a stage like a Stone Love stage, that's a different energy right there. That's a, it, it's hard to pass that type of level right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So then so you decided, where, so from there now, you left Stone Love, and then what did you do from there now? I actually started to form my sound system because, as I tell you, English was a, was a, a DJ that I respect and, and a good friend, yeah. and I said that. He was saying, that, oh, how about you do your own thing? And I was like, yeah. Um, and then I actually never took it serious, and I found another sound system called Jedi. with I some friends that. in New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then from that, that didn't work out. And then I decided to, hey, not going to do it to nobody. Anybody we may have with me would be genuine people that, that they can trust in a way and loyal people. And that's how English and I said, okay, Nico Supreme is going to be and um, it was us all the way until we, we met um, DJ Barney. And it was, a, it was it's just a dream team. A lot of people have not seen the three of us at yeah. that event. Doing um, Connecticut is going to be experiencing it the third mm -hmm. get of um, this month at a party called Cooler's Fest. Okay. In um, and the only reason why you actually ever find it was because it's a party, a day party, Cooler's Fest. And then there's actually a a, a clash segment. Okay. <clears throat> so the last clash that I had in Canada, the only clash I ever had in Canada while doing my own sound system was a clash a couple of years ago with uh, Nico Supreme. We um so um uh what's the name of that sound from here from Canada that long Roots, time sound? No, it was Nico Supreme and Paisa Dot. Yeah. And and um. Fresh. What what the sound about it? Super fresh. fresh. Super fresh. Super fresh. Yeah. Yeah, super fresh. And we voiced a lot of cartels, the custom and 
we dominated that party by far. I, I, I didn't know if we, that we could even do it because yeah. I was telling English that there's a, there's a segment that you have to play vocals. Mm -hmm. And I was saying that we don't have the tenor saws and the, and the garlic silk. And English was saying that they want to me there was other artists that are, that are bad at, at, at this time. Mm -hmm. That's how I voiced um, mm -hmm. the devil them and those songs at the time. And actually win the party. Yes, I remember the devils and stuff. Wow, crazy, crazy. Okay, listen. Mm -hmm. How about this here? We see we're doing, we had this lovely scenery. We're doing it outside and stuff. There's a lot of stuff about Nico Supreme that I want to talk about. How about, do you think we could hop on a second interview and do that at another date and talk about yeah, going to Nico Supreme and the Jedi? Definitely, definitely. We can have another interview with that. Definitely. Man. Yeah, because trust me, you see the first, what you just said first was so crazy. It was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and then now, because I want to go from the Jedi, Nico Supreme, and exactly what you're doing right now, because a lot of people want to know, where is Nico Bam Bam? What's Bam Bam doing right now? And I want to give you that justice by us having some good light and sit down and talk again. Definitely, definitely. So it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure, Muslim. And we can Bam. do that other interview. Bob, it's been so crazy. How about you leave them some contact info so they could check you out in the meantime until we connect again and get the second interview out of the way? Well, well, you can contact at Nico, Nico Supreme at, um, on Instagram. Just mm -hmm. type in Nico Supreme, you see pop up. Um, the social media, I cannot, there's more the other guys to the social media. I, I don't do follow it up, you know. Yeah. But if you need to contact Nico Supreme, you can contact English. Formerly of Nico Supreme. You can link Muslim. And yeah. you will find us. I understand. I will come mash up party for a nice place. You understand. Bam Bam, it's always, always, always a vibe whenever we link here. You have this thing about you. It's just always on point. You know what I mean? Naturally. It's a natural inborn thing I about me. You can yeah. see that 100%. You were, since we're going to leave, I want to leave on this note. You were the one that actually opened the door for Richie Feelings. That's what I've yeah. always felt from day one. Yeah, and the man is giving me respect, you know. So Richie is a youth, and I'm trying to call emulate me. Because, yeah. you know, he's another big youth, and he have a vibe, he have an energy. So we, yeah. we, we big him up and thing, and he's he bad. You know, I'm yeah. giving him, him ratings, you know. Yeah, for sure. Bam, bam. Let's end yeah. right here. Let's connect sooner rather than later. Get the second All part right. out. But this right part, crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. right? Let me give you an outro and get you out of here. Well, ladies Hi. and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out for now. Bye. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.